welcome back to Guitar Gathering. Today, this video is about the amazing Marshall Astoria Custom. Talk about a rare amp these days. This is a hand-wired uh, Marshall amplifier that they only made for a year or two. Um, I managed to find this one used at Guitar Center. Um, bought it sight unseen from a remote location. Got a good deal on it and I've been just delighted with it. In fact, I just got it home. It's been sitting at our uh, rehearsal studio space for the past couple of months since uh, we can't get together and, and practice in the tight space. So I decided I wanted to bring it home and at least do a little video about this uh, amazing amplifier. Really cool features and capabilities on this. It's got your traditional, you know, loud, very loud Marshall uh, tube amp configuration. It is a 30 watt amp with the ability to go down to about five watts with this little pull on the uh, on the master volume. And it's pretty effective, makes it a little more friendly for home use. I will say this amp, five watts or 30, it doesn't matter. It's loud as all get out. Um, and I find that even on the five watt setting, the master, if you go much further than one and a half to two, you're gonna start getting people upset in, in your household. Uh, but for band rehearsals, you can put it on five watts and crank it up maybe uh, to about four on the master and you're, you're gonna keep up with the drummer. Push it in and get the full 30 watts. It's definitely um, a great and full martial tone that you get from it. Interesting stuff about this amp is it's um, cathode biased. So that means you can run any octal tube in it without having to do any bias. You just plug and play and away you go, kind of like the Fargin amplifiers. Uh, so this has KT66 in it today. Um, I was running it with the L34s, but I really like the KT66 tone that this thing delivers as well. So maybe in the future I'll do a video that uh, will compare and contrast the, the two. It has an FX loop uh, in the back with a volume control, and if you don't run anything in it, or even if you do, um, you can use it in a way that's sort of like a second master volume since it has a level control on it. So if you had nothing in the loop, you could set it up so that with the loop on, you'd have a lower volume, and then when you turn the loop off, you could have the, the amp boosted a, a few decibels. Um, it's got your typical treble boost, and it's got a, uh, a full uh, fullness kind of capability on there as well that um, that I really like. It's a they call it body. Uh, to my ears, that's the equivalent of a four-hole Marshall the 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 bass channel, the, the volume number two. If you had a, a, a 1987X, for example, volume number two has a lot more muddy tone. I feel like when you pull that body out, it's the equivalent of turning that up on one of those amps if you were just running volume one. And it's a nice, it's a nice capability, particularly if you're using a bright tone, you just need to add a little, a little more meat to it. Uh, it's got a treble boost, and it also has a built-in um, overall boost kind of like improving the game or increasing the gain structure and uh, it adds 20 decibels to to the signal pass personally I, I i don't like that that feature i think they went a little too far with it but i'll go i'll go through that and talk about all that stuff in a moment um, i also have a uh, archer Klon pedal the gold one in front of the amp but it's not on right now so i'll, I'll kind of compare and contrast those two boosts for you as well so what you heard coming in was just kind of my standard tone settings, uh, which I've got the master on about four. The edge control, which is like presence, but it's not presence because this amp has no negative feedback. So it's not technically a presence control, but it does operate similarly. I have it just past noon. Bass is nearly halfway. Mids are a little beyond halfway. The treble is uh, just a little bit beyond halfway as well, and the gain is literally straight up at uh, at noon on the high gain input, and you heard those tones. <laughs> Just 
classic straight up Marshall stuff that you get there. Now, if I engage the, the body, you'll hear what that adds to it. <laughs> quite a bit more uh, low end in that. And then if I add brightness. Not bad. Now let's, let's add in the low and the high. control pulled out for a little more uh, low end and oomph when playing live um, but for recording I think I would just leave it in and, uh, and go with that the other capability this amp has is uh, the 5 watt pull down so here's your volume <laughs> an idea of the decibel difference be between the two. Um, the boost feature adds quite a bit of gain. Here's what that does to it. to be a little too much uh, for my taste, so I never use it. But here's uh, with the archer in front of it. Without it. The amp really likes the, the game pedal going into it. I'm just running a little reverb in the loop. But that should give you a really good idea of um, what this amp is capable of. That's kind of just my generic tone with it. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to do, I think, uh, a video comparing the Friedman Dirty Shirley, the Magnetone Super 15, and this amp. Um, I'll figure out how I want to do that. Um, maybe just playing with the tones that I like and do the same thing over and over again. We'll see how that comes out. Um, but I think you'll find that I like a certain tone and this is about it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, get yourself one of these amps. It's fantastic. <laughs>